that look of excitement can only mean one thing. It's time for another fanatical mystery bundle. Oh joy. Well, hello there, real gamers. Retro Rob here, and welcome to Retro Rob Plays Everything. Guess what? It's Fanatical's birthday, and you know what that means? Oh, I think you know. It means it's time for a Fanatical birthday bundle. That's right, the mystery birthday bundle, to be exact. And we're going to take a look at it. Uh, we're going to buy 10 keys. Sorry, I don't have both hands. We're going to buy 10 keys. <laughs> And then uh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna read the descriptions on them. This is going great. We're gonna read the descriptions on them. We're gonna put it in the spreadsheet of awesomeness, and then find out how it measures up to previous bundles that we've done. I I better get reading because obviously going off the script ain't working. Time for the birthday mystery bundle. I'm picking out ten keys here. <laughs> You always get a coupon for 5% off your next order, so I'll probably get 5% off since I just bought the other bundle. Fanatical special birthday guarantee. With your first order of the birthday mystery bundle, we promise to deliver you up to 20 games you have never received before from a previous Fanatical mystery bundle. If we don't, we'll swap it out for a different game absolutely free. Now... We know some of you love buying multiple mystery bundles, so this guarantee only applies to your first bundle. If you purchase multiples, it will be possible that you may receive games that you've had in a mystery bundle before, but hopefully you won't. So, wow, that's um, that's the most um, descriptive I think one of these bundles has ever been. All right. So if you're looking for awesome new games to play, then brace yourself for the ultimate birthday treat because our birthday mystery bundle is jam-packed with a whopping 400-plus indie and AAA games, making it, how fast am I reading, one of our biggest mystery bundles to date. There, I tried to slow down. Whether you're a fan of heart-pumping action, immersive role-playing, or brain-teasing puzzles, this bundle's got it all. And there's still more. Nestled within our exclusive AAA game packs worth over $350 each. Featuring five of the biggest new game releases of 2023. Will you be one of the lucky ones that finds our biggest birthday gift? Wow. Ah, there we go. By the way, this guarantee does not cover different editions of the same game. So you might receive Doom Eternal Deluxe Edition and doom eternal there you go that was an example by the way in case you can't read for yourself you, it's here you can read it all right let's get 10 keys and go for it all right before we get started couple of heads up number one we're basically gambling here this is like rolling the dice might get a winner might get a loser um I might get something that's already in my Steam collection now. Just because I didn't get it from Fanatical doesn't mean I don't already have it. Then the second thing is, these are way better if you're a gaming omnivore. If you like a little bit of everything, you're probably going to like these. But if you're just a AAA gamer and nothing else, and there's nothing wrong with that, but this is probably not the kind of thing for you because you're very specific about what you like. All right, let's get going. Reveal game number one. I said reveal game number one. And I don't think I have this. Ancestors Legacy. Ancestors Legacy. Ancestors Legacy is a squad-based real-time strategy with a strong focus on tactics. Inspired by medieval European history, it brings to life four different nations and their conflicts, usually solved by war. And uh, it's sitting on 4,861. Very positive reviews. Kind of surprised I haven't heard of this game. It looks looks really good. It was developed by Destructive Creations and published by Folkworm <laughs> Folk Publishing. 
And I think um I think I've heard of the publisher before. All right, looking down, it's for Windows only, and original MSRP is. I, I shouldn't use MSRP; it's not really that. But anyway, it's it's listed as thirty four ninety nine on Steam. All right, game number two. Stronghold Crusader HD. I think I actually bought this game straight up off of Steam a while back, and I liked it. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I, I recall the name. Stronghold Crusader HD, the highly anticipated sequel to the best-selling Stronghold. Stronghold Crusader HD throws you into the historic battles and castle sieges from the Crusades with fiendish AI opponents. 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 <laughs> New units four historical campaigns, and over 100 unique skirmish missions. Sitting on 13,753 overwhelmingly positive reviews, developed and published by Firefly Studios. I do have this one already, and it was originally $9.99, available on Windows only. Time for game number three. Let's reveal it. Desert Child, never even heard of this one. Desert Child, you're a hungry young hover bike racer who needs to get off Earth before it explodes. Hunt bounties, throw races, and do whatever you can do to get to Mars and win the Grand Prix. And look at that. Yes, this looks pretty good. Looks like it might be my jam. It's sitting on 63 mostly positive reviews, developed by Oscar Britton, or Britain. <laughs> Published by Acupara Games and originally was eleven ninety nine available on Windows, Mac, and Steam OS. And uh Yeah. Looks pretty interesting. Like this one. Game number four. Here, let's put it in the middle. There you go. Always Legacy. I'm not I, I know I have one of the Always games. Uh, I really do like uh, at least the one that I played. Side-scrolling platformer, pretty cool. Let's see uh, whether I already have it or not. All right, I had Always Awakening, not Always Legacy, so that's good news for me. Always Legacy is a modern retro game full of dangerous dungeons, mystic items, and ancient secrets. Upgrade your magic and choose your own path in this non-linear adventure game brimming with exploration. Sitting on 293 very positive reviews, developed and published by Elden Pixels. I'm kind of surprised it's only got 293 reviews. I, I, I know that the all his games are fairly well known. Anyway, $17.99 for this one, available on Windows, Mac, and Steam. All right, folks, just at the halfway point here with number five. Space Colony. And I've never heard of this one either. Space Colony. Space Colony Steam Edition is a remaster of the real-time base builder and strategy game from Firefly Studios, creators of the Stronghold series. In Space Colony, you colonize to survive, designing intergalactic bases that keep your crew productive, happy, and defended against hostile alien threats. Sitting on 456 mostly positive reviews. This looks like another winner, honestly. Yeah. Like the graphical style in that one. Developed and published by Firefly Studios. Uh, this is older than some of the other games. This is from 2015. $14.99 is the price for it, and it's available only on Windows. Do you want to be a real gamer? Do you want to see every episode of Retro Rob Plays Everything just as it comes out? How much would you pay to have that ability? $100? $1,000? 1 million frickin' dollars? Well, guess what? If you hit subscribe right now and ring that bell, you can get every episode of Retro Rob Plays Everything as they come out for free. And you'll be a real gamer. Whatever that means. Game number six. Let's see what we got. Oh, I wanted this game. 
Totally reliable delivery service. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this one. Oh, that's a good one. Totally reliable delivery service. Delivery attempted. That's a totally reliable delivery service guarantee. Much better than DHL. TRDS is a ragdoll physics simulation about terrible package delivery couriers. Yeah, okay. Like all of them. Work together using odd machinery, useful gadgets, and the wonders of physics to reliably deliver packages to their destination. Sitting on 918 very positive reviews. And this is by We're Five Games, published by Tiny Build Software. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good. It's on sale right now, $299, down from $1499. And it's available for Windows, Mac, and of course, I, I, I always want to say Linux. <laughs> I mean, same thing really, but SteamOS. Number seven. The Secret Order 8. Return to the Buried Kingdom. The Secret Order 8. Return to the Buried Kingdom. Get to the bottom of the unexplained events in the Buried Kingdom and save all its inhabitants in this thrilling fantasy experience. The eighth part of the Secret Order series introduces new adventures, riddles, secrets, and a solid amount of fun. Sitting on 90 very positive reviews, it was developed by Sunward Games, published by Artifacts Mundi. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a great name. Uh, we got Windows, Mac, and of course, Steam OS. And it says it's similar to Graveyard Keeper. That's, is it? I don't, I, it looks like a puzzler. Hidden object, adventure fantasy. Yeah, I don't see anything that would say it's Graveyard Keeper. But anyway, $14.99. All right, key number seven. Smart Factory Tycoon. Is, is there a dumb factory tycoon? Oh, I guess there's a Factory Tycoon, and this is the... Sm I get it. Smart Factory Tycoon. Smart Factory Tycoon, inspired by Little Big Workshop, which I've never heard of, is a tycoon management game about running your dream factory with robots. Design your dream factory, plan all steps of production, research new technologies, and become a tycoon. Sitting on 108 mixed reviews. It was developed by Turquoise Revival Games. I was I was made in a silent S. Turquoise. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Published by Grab the Games and Indie Arc. And uh, let's see, what do we got here? It's uh, $14.99 and available on Windows only. Second to the last game. Let's reveal it. Lacuna, a sci-fi noir adventure. I think I recognize this game as well, but let's check out the description and see. That was, that was said very oddly. That also was said. Whatever, let's just read it. Lacuna. A murder, a hack, a bombing. All it takes to plunge the solar system into war, unless you do something about it. Help CDI agent Neil Conrad make a string of increasingly difficult decisions in this modern dialogue-driven adventure set in a gorgeous 2D sci-fi noir, noir wait, what's with me? Noir universe. Huh. Sits on 1,243 very positive reviews, developed by Digitales Interactive and published by Assemble Entertainment and Whisper Something. Wait. <laughs> Whisper Games and Mayflower Entertainment. Boy, I feel good that I went through all that. Anyway, fifteen ninety nine, and it's available on Windows only. And here we are with the tenth and final game, Muta Zone. And I think I've heard of this one. I'm sorry, Muta Zion, Muta Zion. I don't know. Atencion. Let's read it. You know, I am so sure that I have seen this before. I I just recognize this game. I don't know why. I don't own it, though. Anyway. Muta Zion. 
I hope I got that right. It's muta zone. I'm guessing it's like, you know, mutation zone. Anyway, a mutant soap opera where small town gossip meets the supernatural. Explore the muta zone community as Kai as she cares for her ailing grandfather. Discover magical gardens, new friends, and old secrets. They can survive an apocalyptic meteor strike, but can they survive their small town drama? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I lived in a town of 500 for a while. That was pretty insane. Anyway, it is sitting on 799 overwhelmingly positive reviews developed by Die Gut Fabrik. I hope I got that right. <laughs> I was trying to be all hipstery on that one. And published by Acupara Games. And let's walk down here. It is 19.99 on Steam and it's available on Windows, Mac, and the Steam OS. And this is our last game. So let's go plug all this into the spreadsheet and see what we got. And that wraps it up for the birthday mystery bundle. We paid about seven bucks and look at what we got. 158.90 current value worth of games. If it was pre-sale, it would have been 170.90. Only had one game already. That was Stronghold Crusader HD, which was one I actually bought. It wasn't in another, uh, wasn't in another bundle somewhere. I just thought it looked interesting and grabbed it. Ah, uh, favorite game in this. This is going to be kind of rough. There's a lot of ones I'm interested in. <laughs> there is. It's, it, this is hard. Uh, the only one that actually had negative reviews, I think, was Smart Factory Tycoon. Um, I'm going to go with Ancestors Legacy. It looks really interesting to me. Desert Child and Always Legacy. All three are just... Oh, man, Totally Reliable is good, too. See, this is a rough one. I, about half of them are stuff that I actually want, so so that's a pretty good bundle for me, you know. Anyway, let's uh let's go take a look at it versus uh, the other bundles. Let's see what do we got? One fifty eight ninety, one thirty nine fifty from the marvelous mystery bundle, which uh, I also liked quite a bit. And then we've got the mystery vault bundle, so that's one forty four ninety. Man, the numbers seem to go up every time. Look, at, oh, we can't do that one. That was only a few. And uh, let's see, the Summer Mystery Bundle, which actually I liked a lot of the games in this one. Uh, but it's even its pre-sale price was much lower. So we'll have to say that's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Uh, all in all, I, I'd say the bundles are getting better. And uh, this is probably my favorite so far. It's definitely one of the more expensive ones. I'm pretty sure if I went way back, I might be able to find one that had a higher value. But this one did really, really well. So gets a thumbs up for me. Uh, let me know down below how you did with your bundle. Also, if you got a favorite out of this one, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, not bad. Anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, found it useful, please do me a big favor. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, ring that bell, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.